come, that'd be the line that he always enters the scene with, and it'd be met with a thunderous applause from the audience. Also, I hate it's like you. a YouTube streamer, I would serve all my videos with, hey, it's me! Of course you would, and followed by an immediate hard cut into today's, into today's topic. Speaking of today's topics, we have... We have the Battle of the Grapplers of NSM. We have Barry, aka Ingot, versus Eighth Wonders. Yeah, so this uh, matchup yeah, is... Yeah, I have not seen these two play in a long time, if not ever. <laughs> well, you've been, I gone, you've been gone for a while. The landscape has changed, <laughs> so I've been told. Oh, the down B, they're not actually going to uh, end his life, but... <laughs> yeah, the fact that uh, he who grabs wins. Exactly. Never mind, he who edge cards wins. And that's actually very good. Normally, like, DK's upbeat kind of lets him get, protects him from, like, horizontal edge cards. You can't really have to hit him vertically. But uh, Bowser's Claw is actually just having enough range to get through it and actually securing that early kill for... Oh! Okay, I thought it was gone. <laughs> but I <laughs> yeah, guess that I was a... I don't know if you dropped shield or whether that was a shield poke, Yeah, but... actually, you know, I just realized, you haven't, since you haven't been here, you haven't seen the new and improved Barry. I have not seen the new and improved Barry! Yes! Is yeah, that what it is? Uh, that's, that's sort of the new Barry. It's not quite... Like the new berry. The new berry is raw F smash connecting four times in a match. I don't think you've actually been exposed to Dark Berry yet. So, I but hopefully, to dark once, berry. trust me, once you see the, the magic of Dark, a Dark, Dark Berry, you will know. Honestly, though, that, um, the that, man cometh. That game one lasted so short. I don't know if I'm gonna have much time to get exposed <laughs> no. here, unless Eighth Wonder can turn it I'll around and I'll maybe. I'll expose uh, you after bracket. You'll expose me. You'll be exposed. You'll be exposed. Okay, fine, whatever. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, but no, going in game two. Counter pick coming out from Eighth Wonder is FD. Um, nice jab to grab. That almost gets a conversion on it. Doesn't quite. Barry manages to get out of it a little bit. But he's still continuing the pressure. Barry really hasn't been able to get back to the ground. But now it's his turn. He gets the grab. Now he has back DK in the air. All right, and oh, what amazing there. Using the stall on that down air, spacing out of uh, Eighth Wonder's forward smash. And right now, Barry at 90%. If he gets grabbed, that might actually be it. Oh, uh, he was too high for 50, it. 50. So, no, I think he was also just too high in general, but then he went for the air dodging instead. Which, actually, the air dodging would have worked, but he was too high, and I was a really good by Inga, just making sure that he was out of range of it. But unfortunately, Barry gets reverse dark buried when he was going for the dark Barry. Yeah, and right now... Ingat with a definitely a uh, huge disadvantage, but being Bowser, you know, all he needs is one forward smash. I mean, apparently that's his new trademark. It is. A, it is. You have no idea. That is. That is the Barry trademark. There is a. There's a copyright on it and everything. He like is that. still keeping him in the air though, which is uh, nice. Is Barry? Uh, is he the type of Bowser that like very consistently goes for the Koopa, or is he more about? Oh, okay. sorry, the, the whatever it's called. Yeah, I mean, it's it's known by many names: the Koopa, the Showtime, the Shell Shock. <laughs> It's whatever you want it to be. The Cassius. The Cassius. Oh! Nice. There, okay, now see. Okay, you have had a taste of the Dark Berry. Just raw F smash. That wasn't raw F smash. That was calculated <laughs> F smash. That was F smash into next week. Oh, no. It's almost got him. <laughs> in the, we can hear in the back they're catching up with the stream. We just hear micro spacing. Ooh, look at that! Right now, Barry doing actually an amazing job with this pressure. Sixty-two percent already onto Eighth Wonder. He's one forward smash away from losing this set. No. no. Oh, oh! Wow. Down B, not taking it though. But now all of a sudden he has the lead. This is one hundred and eleven percent on. And the pressure just keeps Ooh. coming. He, this might be damage. Oh, he, didn't, he didn't actually figure it out. He messed up there. He definitely Ooh. did not want one I like forward that. tilt. I like that stall. The up tilt though from DK going wow. to take it. All right, game. Two goes to Eighth Wonder. Now, to to Barry's credit, he kept Eighth Wonder in the corner and in the air that second stock for like ninety percent of the match. Like he was in dis disadvantage the whole almost that whole time. It wasn't just the disadvantage. It was like Barry was being really creative with the pressure. At one point, you saw him do short hop fair, yeah. and on the auto cancel, he did a B. It felt like he knew when. Uh, when Eighth Wonder was going to drop shield, which is interesting because normally if you're a Bowser player and your opponent's going to shield, you just capitalize on that by grabbing. But instead, Ingat opting to go for more of a pressure play style. Right. It's very interesting. He, I think it's a little bit like mid-set conditioning almost. And it's a very nice frame trap too because either way, he did get some good damage and may have actually made the Koopa even more reliable as a kill setup. Right, well, yeah. This game three is going to be run back to Smash Bros. Both characters actually just trying to box each other out <laughs> with their tilts. Oh, but the but then Eighth Wonder gets the F Smash, huh? And we right. did. Oh, we see that there again. But the the uh, the sheer like coverage that that up B has keeps Barry safe. 
right now. Eighth Wonder in the corner. Oh, that forward was definitely a mistake. He's going to get side bead. Right now, 37% on him. The percents are dead even between these two. A nice dash attack. Right now, Barry's range. landings are probably the biggest uh, weakness that 8th Wonder can try and exploit. I'd say that both these players have been doing a really good job over the course of these last three games of uh, keeping the other one in the air. But that Giant Punch is going to come out and connect. Maybe been 9 wind I wasn't actually checked out. <laughs> Salty Bun with the look of DK on his face. The look of astonishment. Ooh, banana. Oh, but and the down beat. Not actually going to take Ooh. it. It, that no wasn't range. the greatest DI, but if you don't need the DI to live, then hey, mm. why even bother? Right. Oh, right, side beat. Not quite gonna be enough. He does DI in, so almost dies at four days for his troubles. Oh, up tilt, not gonna nice do it. Tilt. He is still in the air though, so this is good. Oh, that was gutsy. Oh my god. And that's the that's the okay, that's the other new patent of Barry is the uh the down air spike from Bowser. Alright, and a nice, nice forward chase air. down. Yeah. So both of these players, a lot of what you see, how they're getting their stocks, getting their big damage, putting the opponent in the air, the double jump is burned, and it's when they then have to make it back down to the ground that uh you're seeing the capitalization come. <laughs> okay, nice up to the back of the forward smash. Looking pretty good for 8th Wonder. One grab might be it. That, that, that giant punch. I think Barry lands the first time. Almost goes for it again. Both these characters just, both of them just swinging at each other. Gets another F smash, and that's going to take it. Yeah, not able to live that one. Barry, despite the forward smash being his new patent, ends up dropping it to the forward smashes from 8th Wonder. Mm -hmm.